Greetings, Antonad. I'm Mark Thomas. If you're new here, please subscribe and like this channel to get extra updates on our upcoming shows. In our last episodes, we tasted Mexican mole and Indian kitschti, at least in our minds. Now, it's time to go to India's Taj Mahal. Why? Because as one of the new seven wonders of the world, you have to put it at the top of your bucket list. So, let's go. Most likely we'll begin our journey in India's capital, New Delhi. Now let's take a two hour train ride to the beautiful city of Agra in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Since it's my birthday and the site is nearby, let's walk on over there. Otherwise, feel free to hire a rickshaw. The Taj Mahal is essentially a huge love memorial. In 1632, Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan commissions its construction following the death of his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who has just given him their 14th child. In his grief, he creates a monumental mausoleum to eclipse all others. Presently, we are here at the South Gate entrance, where we buy our tickets and then marvel at the beautiful designs adorning this red sandstone dome. Through the portal, stop along these steps for your first selfie and absorb the tranquil beauty of this royal getaway. Originally, this was actually a lush garden for envisioning paradise in the afterlife. But this current view is a British rule modification. Now, let's walk the watered pathway towards the White Dome. So, what does the word Taj Mahal even mean? I'll have the answer at the end of this video. As we excitedly approach the glass-like smooth tiled floor, you are asked to remove your shoes to prevent damage to this delicate structure. Traditionally, Mughal architecture is founded on red sandstone, as you can see with the West Side Mosque and its twin at the east. However, in an innovative move, Shah Jahan chooses to build the Taj Mahal with brilliant white marble. He assembles an army of artisans who inlay the walls with semi-precious and precious stones, along with fanciful decorative patterns. Once inside, we view the tombs of the emperor and his favorite wife, except these are fake coffins. Secretly, the real ones are placed on a lower level. It feels much cooler in here, and the lattice windows give off a mysterious light into these somber and regal rooms. After exiting this area, we go to the Taj Mahal's front entrance. Yes, the iconic image we have seen for all these years is actually the rear entrance. Shah Jahan intended guests to arrive here from the Yamuna River. This is a peaceful and picturesque plaza to relax and meditate in before departing. The Taj Mahal also has a free archaeological museum located on this complex's southwest side, where you may learn more about the construction of this historic building. The Taj Mahal has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
UNESCO stands for United Nations Educational, Scientific, Cultural Organization, which means it's not only an Indian treasure, but the Taj Mahal is precious to the entire world, and therefore she must be preserved for generations to come. And what does the word Taj Mahal mean? It's Persian for Crown Palace. So instead of giving your loved one yet another gift card, follow the inspiring example of Emperor Shah Jahan and then raise your game. Thank you for joining me on this amazing love story. If you enjoyed it, please like and share this video. And also tell me, friend, where in the world do you want to visit next as you type your comments below. Then go quickly to my blog, anthonauts.com, for even more travel tips on the Taj Mahal. In our next episode, we'll vacation on the beaches of Mexico. Bien y gracias. I'll see you next time. I'm Mark Thomas for Anthronauts.